Hi, my name is Noel Davis, and today I'm going to harvest my Urban Worm Bag version 1. So this bin has been working really well for me, and it's full, and I really need to harvest it so I can get ready for the spring. Um, this is going to go along with my harvesting videos that I've done as far as like doing a light method. This is the bag, and these are a little bit different because you don't have to separate. It automatically separates pretty much because you have these worms that move up. So you have worms that go up into the upper layer, and then you don't have to worry about them, because when you take out the bottom, it's they're not going to be there. Now, there are some issues with doing this, though. You have to make sure you don't knock out everything that's above, because you can accidentally do that, where all of a sudden the entire thing collapses down, and then it's just, you basically have a big pile of stuff you have to load back in your bin. So let me show you what the bin or the bag looks like, and then you can see what I'm going to do to harvest it. All right, so here's the top of the bag. I know it's pretty dirty, but... I just want to show you how full this thing is. So it is filled all the way up to the top, just underneath this. I have more cardboard, and underneath that is a huge layer of food. Um, this bit has been churning through stuff really well, which is why I want to harvest it, because this is, it's right there. It's, there's, no, there's no give it all in the box. So it's filled to the top. It really needs to be harvested, and that way I can get this stuff moving out since we've got spring coming, and I need to make sure I've got a lot of stuff to hand over to my plants outside for nutrients. So let's go underneath and start harvesting. All right, so here we go, emptying this bag system right here. Let me see if I can find the zipper. Now the new ones, this is the version one. The version two does have a inside skirt that kind of helps to keep things in. All right, nothing fell out that time. So let me just, it's kind of crumbly in here a little bit. There are a couple worms that are coming down, but hopefully not too many. I'm just trying to pull from this side. So what I'm doing is I'm reaching in and I'm kind of grabbing out the sides where it's sort of con uh, impacted in there and really packed in. So I'm not going to harvest a whole lot. The idea is that you do little harvests cons consistently with these and that way you don't have these issues with them being this... Uh, packed in. So All right, I think that's a good amount this time. I'll probably harvest again maybe in another week. You know, more of this is going to fall down, it'll fill up the areas that are void now. And we'll keep going like that. So I'm going to keep doing that try to space it out and try to get this to drop back down a little bit. Now, if I really wanted to, and I want to make sure I get like there's a worm right here, you know, if I wanted to try to get all of these guys out, I could, I could try to sort, but I have to be honest with you, after doing this for multiple years, I've realized that you just can't get every single worm. And, you know, some of them are going to be lost in, in multiple ways, and you just have to move on. So this is a good amount of stuff here. I also had a little piece of cloth that come down with it. But that's a good amount of stuff to get out of this. And I could do this probably for the next few weeks. You know, like every couple days, just sort of come in here and, you know, tap it down a little bit. Oh, I gotta take off my glove to zip this back up, I think. So, this is this is the way you harvest these bags. They work really well. Let me grab this to zip it now. I'll zip it afterwards, but uh, anyhow. So that's how you harvest these. I've harvested this one before, and I think I've shown a video on it, but I really should be doing this in smaller sections and then kind of hit these sides, kind of smack everything in and then a couple days come back, harvest it again, get a little bit more and a little bit more. And eventually you're going to, this bag is, this stuff is going to drop back down and then you can fill it back up with all your new stuff. So I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'll leave a link below on where you can purchase one of these urban worm bags if you're interested. And, you know, also some of the materials that I use, such as these bins and stuff like that. So if you have any questions, let me know. And thank you for watching.